welcome everybody to yet another show of Keep Pushing, where we are here to empower you, to empower others. We are live today mm -hmm. on Facebook and YouTube. So all of our Facebook and YouTube uh, viewers, welcome. And please like and share this video and, and spread it out and about to all of your uh, friends and family. Um, on today's show, we have a very special guest, a gentleman I've known for quite a long time, uh, Daniel Bax. Daniel, How's welcome. How's it going, CC? Good, man, good. Excellent. So Daniel is a speaker, author, entrepreneur. Why don't you hold up your book there <clears throat> and tell everybody so, about it? This is a book called The Life of Your Choice, and the title came together as it was the life of my choice after a massive accident where I was placed in the hospital and woke up temporarily blind, deaf, muted because I paralyzed one or two vocal cords. I'm only speaking to you with only one vocal cord left now. Fully paralyzed on my left side and memory was completely erased. And it was my choice to choose to be a victim and, and, and stay in the hospital and just be bedridden the rest of my life or to make a choice to tap in my own personal potential and live life fully and step up again. And now Daniel's only giving you the Coles Notes version of his accident, and we won't really dwell on the accident, but uh, if you've ever heard Daniel speak on stage, or if you've ever uh, read his book, uh, he gets into it, and it's a pretty remarkable story um, of his you know, power to keep pushing, and that's why he's on the show today. Um, so Daniel, tell us a little bit about, um, so that all happened to you and you've written the, this book and you've you know, done so many things. I know one of the things that you like to do is uh, riding your bike. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about that, why that is so important to you in your life to have that hmm. in your life and, and what you've done with it. Cause we have, and you, the viewers may see, <laughs> see it at home. Uh, pictures uh, of you riding your bike or with your bike. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that. That's a good question. Actually, how, how I came into riding bike was, I was a cyclist before, but I'm not a cyclist, I was a mountain biker before. And I happen to have one of my training bikes in the, in the storage. The, the reason why I got back on the bike, because walking was such a challenge. Like I, I step on a crack wrong way and I'd go down. I was mm. like, it was, it was, it took me forever to walk a block because the left side didn't function very well. So I was, it would like, it just took me so long to get places. But I yeah. realized getting on a bike and I had the, my left side was still not quite getting how to function properly. Sure. So the fun part was, was being on a bike, it trained my left side as I was training the right side to pedal around. So my, when I actually got off the bike, I actually was able to walk better and smoother because That's I was teaching my body to function right. and to work better. Right. So then I started cycling back and forth to doctor's appointments, back and forth to rehab, back and forth to follow-ups. Yeah. Then it, the, the cycles got even further. Like I was living in, where was I living at the time? Living in Toronto. I cycled from one side of Toronto to the other side of Toronto to go for a follow-up after, right. after a surgery. And then, then I ended up moving into, I think, Hamilton. And I ended up cycling, I think I had a pre-op in Niagara Falls. So I cycled mm. down to Niagara Falls and yeah. cycled back. Yeah. I was, I was at, a, at a, a speaking event myself that I was speaking at, and I was in Niagara Falls, and this guy shows up, and I'm like, weren't you just in Toronto or somewhere close to there? He's like, yeah. I'm like, how did you get here? And he's like, I biked. I'm like, I was just <laughs> so impressed with that. I was like, wow. That's, that's knowing for Daniel for a while and what he's been through through his, through his accident to, to this moment, I was just like, you know, he's <clears throat> totally impressed me. So tell, let's move a little bit forward and uh, tell us, all of us, about uh, the program that you've developed that's come out of your book and, and what you're doing with that and how you're doing that. Yes, it's, it's under the, our, um, our business title called My Endless Potential. And what I've done is, is my book is based on my own journal as going through rehab and just how I evolved and what I did and the mindset and the state of mind I had to yeah. overcome the different challenges. Sure. And then I, then I set different examples of people who have done this, like leaders that we, we know out there in the world today that have done what I, what I was doing and then how they overcame it. So through all that, I've taken each chapter in here. There's, I think there's 
28 chapters and there's four themes. Mm -hmm. I'll read the themes off to you. I don't sure. recall them exactly right now. That's fair enough. And the first theme is, the, is, is awaken your goals and your dreams. So you want to awaken your goals and your dreams and find out where you are, mm -hmm. what you're focused on, so you know what to shoot for and where you're going, the direction of, so you understand exactly what you're taking on and what you're learning and how you're evolving in your life. Mm -hmm. And then understanding where you are, which is exactly what I said, so you actually know where you are to see what you have to, in front of you, where to go and what to take on next. Then preparation. Prepare yourself to, to take that step, the next step forwards. And then the last one is the most important one, which is the most important action in all of our lives is action. Yeah. Take action. Yeah. After you've looked at where you want to go, yeah. you realize what you're doing, yeah. and you know what lies in your way, what obstacles or what, what, what it is you must learn, take action to it and yeah. take it on. Yeah. And so now what I've done is I've evolved in, in generating uh, different coaching programs and there's different, uh, the, there will be different um, uh, seminars and events going through that where people take on different, like we coach people through pretty much through every chapter Very cool. and give them each exercise. So yeah. they take that on in their own lives and they help helps them evolve and step yeah. forward. It doesn't matter whether you've been yeah. in an accident or you've got a physical challenge that you're born with, or even if it's just a, a challenge in life in general. Yeah. We all need to overcome some kind of circumstance. Yeah, and yeah so absolutely. This absolutely. is, this is set to, to take on life absolutely. like that. Um, you said something very interesting in your answer just now about acting now. And I, I find that too. I, I find that regardless of your ability, uh, whether you consider yourself someone with, with a disability or someone with, a, uh, you know, no disabilities, um, I think a lot of folks out there tend to wait for something or someone and rather than just act. Mm -hmm. I find for me, that's my thing. Act now, just do something, mm -hmm. anything, just do something, you know? Um, and, you know, things will evolve and happen. You know, they, things may not happen when you want them to, <laughs> but, but they will happen. I mean, and that's, that, I mean, that's a whole other topic in terms of universality and spirituality and stuff that we've talked about off camera yes, a yes. lot. But, but, you know, um, and I mean, whether b people believe in that or not, it's a whole other thing, but just acting now is key. Right. The thing is you step up and you step forward and st yeah. step out on what it is you desire to do. It doesn't matter when it comes along. You may, you may set a goal for this date, which is always good to have goals as to when you like to set. But even if you don't achieve it on that day, you keep acting. It will come because you're always you're drawing in people, places, opportunities, and, and scenarios to yeah. work with you to achieve your goal because you're, you're running in that, that mindset, that state of mind, and people, mm -hmm. places, and events show up to 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 allow you to, to be of greater service right. as you're achieving your goal. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. It always will come through. Just keep that, like, my vision and goal, what I want to do right now regarding this book and just awakening the awareness of, of human potential, yeah. especially pri primarily through the, the brain injury industry, but through all disabilities, I call it the challenged uh, community. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen two mm -hmm. years ago. It didn't happen last year, but right. I know that it will happen. It's, right. it's a definite and that's a purpose for myself that this is my vision and my own, my sole purpose in life that my intention to get out there and just awaken people in their human potential yeah. that we are possible. Absolutely. If you only Absolutely. knew what you could do when you truly tap into the gifts that have been bestowed upon you at birth, it would take your breath away. Mm -hmm. You are so powerfully possible. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's just yeah. keep yeah. striving forward like Absolutely. you say. Absolutely. Push forward. Absolutely. So um, off of that, again, off of that uh, answer that you've given me, or us, rather, um, tell us what you've got in your mind and heart to, to plan for the future of what you're doing in terms of your <clears throat> personal uh, empire, let's call it. <laughs> and, how, and, and, how, and furthermore, how people out there can reach out to you and, and how they can maybe help you along in terms of that, you know? Yes, yes. Because we, we can't do things alone. No one can do things alone, no. right? No, it's so. best to work as a team. Cause Absolutely. I found out, someone told me once, and I, and I, I keep it as a, as a close embodiment, next to me, team. Because yeah. together, everyone, everyone achieves, achieves more. miracles. Yeah. One more. Oh, miracles, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that one better, yeah. yeah miracle man, there we go. Miracle man, oh, yes. Ah, mm. ah okay. Um, so, so, should I answer your question? Yeah, please, yeah. So the vision on this, and going back to your talking about cycling, yeah. I took on cycling further and further and further, and just cycling more, it became such a passion in my life that 
I think I had a keynote speaker for the last, no, it was two years ago, keynote speech in, in Quebec. Okay. And so I chose, well, I might as well just step up and show them the endless potential that we always have that are, we are so powerfully possible. I rode from Toronto to Quebec nice. to be a keynote speaker at the Rain Ninja Conference, and then I cycled back. It took me two days to get there, but yeah. it was a wonderful journey. Yeah. So on that, what I'm doing is I'm generating a cycle tour, and then we take it on small cities at a time. We're starting off with Toronto, and then we're doing London and different okay. cities in Ontario. Okay. Then I want to circle the, cycle the circumference of Ontario. Okay. And the, in, the, in the month of June, which is Brain Injury Awareness Month, okay. to raise the awareness that of brain injury that we, and of human potential that we are possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. healing is possible. It yeah. doesn't matter what the injury is. It doesn't matter. You don't have to come fully healed, but if yeah. you, you take on the, the world of possibility and yourself, mm -hmm. you can always evolve your state in the space where it is to mm -hmm. a more comfortable space to be in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you to get in touch with Daniel, uh, whether it's on Facebook, yes. whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on uh, uh, his website, he has a website too, um, and email as well. So we're gonna post all of those things for you to get a hold of him. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, with regards to me, you can get a hold of me through my uh, uh, Facebook page, uh, Keep Pushing TV Show. Uh, and this will be posted there when it does come out. Uh, and uh, you can uh, check us out and all of our, our great shows that we have on the Disability Channel. Uh, check us out, like us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, keep pushing. Peace.